Right, okay, this is going to be a quick one tonight because I should be going to sleep soon. And the trick is, what are we going to do tonight? We are going to do something we've already done, kind of. We're going to do another fake Lego thing, um, which is exciting. Um, I've got a huge variety of things to actually do, but I'm going to do this right now to get it out of the way. Um, and yeah, so today it's going to be the. It's going to be actually a very boring, boring video. It's going to be a little truck thing. We're going to try and do it as fast. I'm pretty sure it's a truck. I hope I got it right this time. I actually paid attention. So you have to actually look at what the front cover and it has a little picture of this. They all have that thing on the um, instructions. So you think you're getting the truck with all of them. But that's actually the giant truck at the end. This is not the truck. This is creator truck. It is truck. It says truck. All right. Let's do the truck. It's the mini truck, not the big truck. So I have, in fact, bought all four of these things, um, including the one I already did, which is missing the front part. But that's okay. We'll find it. Um move it out of the way for now uh, we haven't got too much time so we don't need that because it's reflective and that can go there don't need that uh, again we have the funny thing with the bag that's one bag's easy to rip open and the other bag not so easy to rip open what's up with that who will know uh, we know how this goes together so let's just stick it together real fast. Um, does it go like that? I think it goes like I think it goes like that. That looks about right. Let's stick this. Let's keep it in in full view of the camera. None of the silly off-camera stuff that I've been doing an awful lot of recently. Oh, this is hard. Uh, uh, if I go, I have. Uh, why does it? Why does it slip around? Oh, <laughs> all right. I think. So last time there was some satisfying clicking sounds when I got this on the when I watched it later afterwards, <laughs> watched it later afterwards, and so let's see if we can get some more satisfying clicking sounds. I don't think we're going to have so much much luck. There we go. That's a nice. That was a nice sound, and that one is kind of it works. It's close enough. All right, and this can go there. We haven't even got the instructions opened yet. Get rid of that plastic bag, for goodness sakes. Put the light up a bit, it's a bit too intense. This is a bit moodier. All right, so here are the instructions. We are just going to do number A as usual. Um, I think, actually we'll do it again with the thing at the bottom. Because it seems to work a little bit better if that's at the bottom. And so good, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, we've, we've, we've got there. And that just goes onto the front, so we know where we are. And then we've got to get this thing. So this is a speed run. We're going real fast here. It's amazing. Whoa, I just dropped one on the floor. Uh, oh, there. No, I didn't drop it on the floor. I caught it just in the nick of time. So that was good. Let's put that there because I don't think they have spares. Oh, my goodness. Butterfingers today. Um, so my little bandage has fallen off. So hopefully it doesn't start bleeding everywhere. That would be the worst video ever. Uh, I think it's at that point. Yesterday the bandage fell off and then there was blood everywhere. Um, and I was all like, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're doing this. I'm jumping ahead a lot here. All right, we're just doing this part here. So I put all those bits there. And we've got to find... Oh no. There's a little black 2x2 two two and I don't see it. Oh, it's there. So this is the thing with this one. All the pieces, they come kind of stuck together all the time. So it's just got to keep an eye out for those stuck together pieces. And we shouldn't have any problems like last time. So now we're at A4. This is A4. And we've done this. So we've got to add a lot of little black bits on. It is quite handy that they they colorize it. So you can see all the new bits. So there's a lot of new black bits to have to go on. I take it in these sets they never actually have any pieces that are the color that you have in the background. That kind of bluey black. Um, bluey black. Is that a color? No. Okay, where are we up to? I'm having to look uh, and not hit the the pointless... The thing hanging in front of the camera. I hate it when I end up hanging... Uh, I just feel like everything's a bit too... There's a there's a pop... What are they called? Pop filter... Th oh. <laughs> I was making a promise not to hit anything on the, the disc. I just hit the... What is it called? Door! That's right, I hit the door. And that's why the thing shook. So there wasn't an earthquake. All right, so we've got that bit. 
uh, it feels like there should be another bit there. So that seems like a shame. You've covered up the black bit. And then we're going to stick this bit, which doesn't quite seem the same as it's that kind of you put it on the back of your, I don't know, ATVs, is it that what they're called? Like all terrain vehicle things, like that some friend's character might be driving would have one of these on the back, I think. I'm thinking of a set like that, but they appear in like police cars and stuff. But it just seems slightly different in, in in how it's played. So maybe one day we'll have a look. Next time I come across a real Lego set that has that piece in it, I'm going to whip out this one and do a proper comparison. Because it feels wrong. It just doesn't feel like it's exactly the same. But that's okay, because if this is not Lego. It doesn't have to be the same as Lego. Or it could in fact be exactly the same. And I just don't know what's so very. <laughs> this is like that little bee. I have no idea what happened to my bee. Oh, my poor little pipe cleaner bee. Where, where on earth would I put the pipe cleaner bee? I need to pay attention to some things. All right, there's a piece there that we need to keep. All right, so we're now up to A5. So we've folded the piece of paper in half one more time, and we're going to put this thing on the front. That comment will make no sense to someone who comes from America, I'm sure, because in America, they don't understand A4 and A5. Um... It just gets smaller and smaller as each, each time as we go through this. Uh, right. That's correct, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. A1, A2. Been using that kind of paper my whole life. And this is neither A4 or... Um, what kind of size paper is this? Anyway, does it matter? It doesn't. It does not matter at all. Or it does. <laughs> Maybe someone's like, will watch this one day and say, Yeah, it does matter. And they'll start crying and I'll be sad. Well, I won't be sad because I can't actually see you. It's true. Oh, this is strange. Like, look at this. Okay, you can't... This is a terrible thing because you can't... Look, we're going to shine the light. I'm going to bring the light back down again so you can see the reflections. But, like, I guess this is meant to be... It's like it's got two Midgard areas. Um, that's meant to be, like, some internal circuit... Uh, not circuitry. Internal engineering bits for the wheels. But then why don't they have... Any, it's like... Have I done this right? Because that can't be right. I've got like two mudguard areas on the front or back, front, and nothing on the back. So that's that's strange. But who are we to judge? As long as it looks awesome when it's finished, then I will be happy. Oh, this makes no sense. Okay. So what happened? What? Uh confused okay okay all right it says put this black thing there which i get and there's another one on the other side but then they're not actually touching anything you can't you know, there we go you can't see they're not actually touching anything and then the instructions look like it this, this is supposed to go on here but i think it's actually meant to go there which is frustrating because there's only one one stud to be attached to which always feels like uh a bit amateurish but, hey, it, if, it, if it holds in place, and there is going to be a bit over the top, uh, except I think you've got to have yellow there and yellow there. So the fact that it's slightly ajar will be rectified in the next step when we put that little yellow thing. It says I'm supposed to do two steps for putting that one on top of the thing and then putting that on top of this. But I'm not going to do that because I really want this to be straight now. I can't wait to do this thing so I'm not going to wait to do that thing sorry and going through here we're, we're this is a speedy 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 thing so next two days are going to be speedy videos um, but I might end up with a um, I forgot to clean my nails again uh, an interesting video afterwards with other people that won't be a staring at my hands video that was it so this is it and again again we are left with these things, oh, nah, this doesn't make sense. This is not, there's no fire things. Did this come in the set? Was anyone paying attention? Or is these sitting on the table from from this one? Uh, I guess so. This appears to actually be used in the other model. Uh, so I don't know what that thing is meant to be. Because it's standing upright. This is like a monster or something. It's like, well, are you bored making a actual truck thing? That actually doesn't look too bad. Like, so I'm going to make a 
is this, there's these three extra pieces, four extra pieces. Uh, and that, okay. So this is the final model, the giant model. The giant truck, how much fire does this giant truck have coming out of it? But I don't see, why do I have more fire here? All right, that must have been from this one here. It must have been sitting on the desk. All right. Okay, well maybe we can stick the fire in here. Uh, I don't see any, well there's the fire thing there, we can put the fire. But, let's just wind it. I was gonna say it's very sturdy, but um, now, that I, now that I pay attention, that is um, a rather unsteady way of doing things. So yes, we, we, we almost got there. We almost got a nice, good holds together. There's nothing wrong with the pieces in this. Like, I don't think that they're particularly poor in their ability to hold on to things. Their clutch power is fine. It's not the same as Lego's, but it's just this sort of model can consideration, you know, like, so that's held on there, but these bits are pretty much held on by nothing to the main body. And then they just fall off very, there you go, it's holding on now, and now it falls off, okay. It kind of holds on if you tilt it that way, but then it comes off. So we were very close with this one. I actually thought, I was just gonna finish this video saying, uh, this didn't have the problem with this one had with the, with the front bit, which of course I have completely lost, so I don't know where it went. Uh, it's around. Uh, you think it'd be over there somewhere. Um, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, my word, here are some of the spare pieces from the other one, and, no, oh, no, wait, that's the, seriously, okay, no, okay, I am, so, oh, no, 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 I knew it, I knew it, I was like, there is a, there is a, so, it did come with these fire pieces, but they aren't used for anything. So that just must be the free bonus piece they give everything. Anyway, what we were saying is that this had a terrible front bit. Uh, there's one more little bit of the front. It's like there's a bell going off, ding. Uh, there's the remains of it. And it just didn't hold on at all because it was rubbish. Uh, and this is the same kind of thing. It just isn't designed very well. But, and it's so close, other than that, like this thing is pretty sturdy. Uh, I don't know how well these things are all very slippery. Let's just try it. <laughs> uh, all right, holding it with the top bit and letting it go. It doesn't really, it does kind of work. There we go. It, well, yeah, it probably works great on carpet. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this for the pullback function. Like it technically pull bit, pulls back, but um, interestingly, on the final model, uh, it looks like I was going to say, how many pullback motors can they put in there? Because you're going to have four by the time you get to make the last one. But it looks like they're only using one. I think the front one's the pullback. Which is a shame. So I got a yawn. How rude on the camera. Um, and so that's that. So how would I rank this? This one I prefer over the whatever that was, bulldozer thing, because the bulldozer doesn't, doesn't look like any bulldozer I've seen. This kind of looks like uh, a truck of some form. Like, you definitely could put stuff in the back uh, and they'll fall out, of course, which is good. Like all trucks, the stuff in the back should fall out. That's how trucks work. Um, so it, it, it gets, um, I'm gonna give this um, two out of five, um, and I'm gonna give this three out of five given that these things cost two dollars New Zealand to buy um, that's what I'm going to rank them as if they were real Lego if they were, well, if they were competing in prices with Lego I wouldn't bother with these but at their price they're just fine I think um, they just aren't very spectacular so anyway there we go thanks for that and I'll see you next time so make a comment if you watch this I'm confused as to why the last video about this thing has more likes than anything else I've ever done. And that makes no sense. Like I know I know when you look at the stats, there's people are only watching it for like 10 seconds. Uh, so you won't be hearing this message. But uh, if you did watch it all the way through the end, please tell me who you are and why you're watching this strange stuff. Like why would you do this? What's wrong with you? Or how, you're such a cool person. Um, I really appreciate you watching this and what you're doing is great and it's perfectly normal to be watching this video. So thanks and bye.